just to show you if the data works I have opened here his site software and I will open that file browse and add file should work nice so here you see it works here we have 498 articles written by 1114 authors in 163 journals and with a lot of cited reference and a lot of keywords so we can actually perform a bibliometric analysis here you go to two you go to view bibliometric so here you see the citations, citations per year. We have two categories, local citations and global citations. Local citations means that the number of times a article is cited by these 498 articles. And global citation means the number of times an article is cited by all the articles in the ISI Web Science database. So we click here to see the local citation number so this is the highest cited one this article in journal of international business this is the top journal so it's very likely that the most cited paper will be from here then we have the citation here and if you look at global citations in terms of that this article theorizing from case studies is the most cited it could be because it's it's as you see it's kind of a methodical conceptual paper so people from other fields are also interested they would also like to try to theorize something from case studies so they will be citing this paper as well and there are other metrics as well citations in the last three years citations in the first three years of getting published then the ratio of citation in the first three years or last three years you can actually change this thing like then uh, as I'm saying three years but it's normally I think by default it's three but you can change it to one or two something like that and for that you have to go to tools settings here you will see mm, it should be it should be somewhere here, as you see, L L L S L C B L C S B and L C S E. It's three years now, but you can make it two years. You can, yeah, two years or three years, as you want. You can. You, there are many other options, so you can play with them a little bit. And also, you have the manual here and help here glossary, so you can use them as well. And one of the interesting thing is that you can use a, the graph maker tool to make a graph and this can help you to identify the the articles which are interrelated with each other and which kind of develop a which 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 kind of forms a cluster within this international business and yeah within this international business research stream for some reason it's a bit slow but i hope it will be working soon Okay, I'm gonna close it and try it again so it works now so here you can make this graph with this number of local citation you can make it count or value so here if I make it number of local citation count to 30 then we will have 30 articles which are most cited if we make it value then we'll get yeah there are no articles which were cited more than 30 times unfortunately so we make it 5 and then we get 12 articles but one very interesting thing is you see here like the articles are not really connected with each other so much they are not citing each other Pretty much uh, one reason is that if you remember like we have taken articles only from last five years actually if you take our articles for the last 10 years or something then you will see it will look really different okay yeah so thank you for thank you for listening to me and seeing this video and 
there could be actually a lot more done with this data and with this software and if you're interested you can have a look on my published papers you can visit my research gate so here I, I actually did one article on bibliometric analysis here actually I have done two so you can request me for these articles in research gate one is on seaport competitiveness and another is on green supply chain management so you can actually request me for these articles and I can you can see what more could be done using this data and this kind of softwares thank you for watching if you find it useful like share and comment bye bye